Well, next up on who's got a mental problem today, we're looking at a guy called The Research Guy. Shows here right above my pointer that he does movie reviews too. After hearing a few of these that I've heard, I really wonder if that's even listenable either. It's entitled, I Can't Believe That He Even Said This. And it's a short, so it's pretty simple here. Let's see what he says. Now he's a research guy, so what would you research? Experts? No, he picks a black skateboarder that's jealous. Let's look. Okay, so this next clip is from a pro skater named Terry Kennedy. Watch this. Man, what? Richest Native American alive. It's a picture from the 1700s with Cherokee. You know what we do to y'all? So then he tries to pretend that black people are somehow the Amerindians. This is rampant. They don't know which one to claim. So they decided to look into it and find one that gave some problems to Americans when they were starting America and decided to claim that we must have been those people. He's got a picture here, wanting to look in the camera like he knows something. And the real telling thing is, is he likes to throw in there, you know what we do to y'all? Uh, I don't know, you live on a reservation and pay us lots of money to come out of the casinos? Uh, is that what direction you're trying to end up in? Is segregated from society in some place that's trapped just for you, but we won't give you any gambling sites or anything like that. We'll, we'll definitely keep that off of your itinerary. That would be a problem. That's amazing. You know what we do to y'all? Well, what they do in a modern day is there's nothing. They just try to be part of society and not act a fool. So apparently you're not following their edicts. You know what we did to y'all? Yeah, you caused some problems and ended up getting a lot of you killed off and then so on. But wait, that's based on the premise that you're actually somehow an Amerindian and everybody knows that you're not. But you want to parade your mental problem and the research guy likes to parade the mental problem too. This is about the sixth or seventh one that I've seen where he's trying to say, look, this person will say that we were Amerindians. Oh boy, oh boy, and blacks are just eating this up. You go to the comments and they're just, oh, we knew it. We weren't West Sub-Saharan pre-Neolithic non-biblical primitives. We were, we were the primitives of Amerindians because they figured out now that Amerindians were much, much more advanced than they ever were. So it's an upstep to lie, you see. So what's this guy got to say? You see that? He said we Cherokee. You see that? He say we Cherokee. Well, the Amerindians spoke in broken English many moons ago before the white man came. We went up in the mountains to hunt for deer and bear and for shelter. But you see, he desperately wants to not be himself. This is all too common nowadays and we just let it run rampant. They totally have no idea. Well, no, they have a perfect idea of who they are. They just don't like or want that at all. And so they've taken to lying about things. The first six or seven were trying to claim they were Caucasians, like the Egyptians or the endemic North Africans or the Amaza or the Greeks, or the Romans, or anybody else they tried to claim out. But then they decided to branch out from that. We've recently heard that they were the Amerindians. We've heard they were the Olmecs. We heard that they were the original people of the Orient. They were the original Orientals. It's quite amazing to see this mental gap show itself so readily. Most people looking at these people in the eye wouldn't have any idea that they have this bad of a mental issue going on constantly. Let's hear it one more time. Okay, so this next clip is from a pro skater named Terry Kennedy. Now that's who you want to get your research from is a pro skater. 
as I remember, pro skaters are extremely affluent in ancient history. Uh, uh, what? Uh, ne, duh. Watch this. Man, what? Richest Native American alive. It's a picture from the 1700s with Cherokee. You know what we do to y'all? That's, of course, the one act tough. If he wasn't having all the picture up, he would grab his weeby right then and try to show everybody, I'm tough, I grab my weeby, which they do in every one of their rap songs. No, they didn't know the Amerindians existed or even the rest of the world at that time. And they, quite often you'll hear them whine that white people wouldn't even teach us at first. Well, you didn't know how to read before anybody met you either. You never had a wrote it, written word or anything else. So all this has been an extreme upstep for blacks when they want to act like it's a downstep somehow and pretend that they used to be anybody else but themselves. In this installment, we was, we was Cherokees. But I don't know what we're at now. Uh, really, if you just want to go Amerindians or North Amerindians is one, Olmec, South American is another. We're only up to like 14 or 15 people that they try to claim other than themselves. It's extremely self-exposing and they don't feel like they can quit. In fact, now they feel like jumping out on world stage and making a clown of themselves on the world stage because the Cleopatra thing came out where they tried to make Cleopatra somehow a West Sub-Saharan Bantu and Ptolemy. Oh, and all the Egyptians. How hilariously sad it must be to try to get someone to believe your jealous lies. Really, this needs to be brought out in the open. I thought Cleopatra might help to do this eventually here. It needs to be brought out in the open just so we can make sure that they know who they are, who Asselar Man was, and what Eero Willero was, and where they come from, what attachments they have, and all the truth and reality of it. So they might quit. Then we'll have to put something on it that'll make them quit, like... And if you try it again, you'll go, uh-oh. What's the answer to all this? Let them keep being the toy puppet on stage, lying about everything they can, making sure that they're the most untrustworthy people ever on the history of the planet? When I was a kid, things seemed to be a whole lot better, but one Michael Jackson video and he started tugging his wee-wee and the next thing you know, Got them all doing it. And claiming not just Egypt that they're very jealous of, but everything else in the world. Because claiming anything would be an upstep from where they were. Anyhow, guys, uh, onward to the next one. Uh, whenever you do any research, try to talk to jealous racist skaters. And that's going to really help your cause. Peace.